Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some items in the N and HO uh, scales that might find their way on your layout today. It's just so good looking. New from he Walmart. is These really good. Shopping. Oh hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome. I was just doing some uh, market research. Anyway, welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show. And today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new items that hopefully will find their way once again on your layout. Or my layout. Either or, we're super excited. So we're going to get started with some 60-foot high cube boxcars from Walther's. And let's take a look at what they look like, shall we? So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different road names here. We're going to start with the Union Pacific. I got the TTX. I got the Canadian National. I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. And I got the T-Box or TBOX or whatever you want to call I have it. Now, the neat thing about these cars here is that I have a whole bunch of different road number specific cars for each row name. So if you like the Union Pacific, I have a whole bunch of different numbers. So if you want to create a nice long unit train for Union Pacific, I got you covered here. Okay, these are really great looking box cars. I think you're really going to like them. This the detail is really nice. The couplers are nice. I mean, the wheels glide. You're really going to like these cars. And of course, these are a very affordable price because you're probably wondering how much do these things cost? Well, I'm going to tell you. They retail for $34.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.98. That's a fantastic deal to get if you want to get multiple different cars. You want to get a bunch of different road names, scan together. You can never have enough box cars. At least that's what the uh, mantra on the top of my wall says. Every time I leave, I give it a little pat like the Notre Dame guys. So you can't have enough box cars. Get one of these or three or ten of these on your layout today because I know you're really going to like them. So for Valentine's Day, my wife asked me, how come you didn't get me any 40-foot refrigerator containers? At least that's what it sounded like in my head. I don't know, she's probably yelling about something else. Anyway, so what I have here is I have these brand new Atlas 40-foot refrigerator containers. And you're really going to like these pieces here because they are so nicely detailed. As you can see, I have all the various different warning labels on there. As you can see on the side there, I got my refrigerator units. I'm not... Don't want to take them out of the package because I, after all, I do have to sell these things. But they are really nicely detailed there. You take a look at the back there. You see all the various different warning labels, all the different uh, separately applied paint uh, details on there. I mean, these are just really nice, and I have a whole bunch of different ones. For example, I have the Crowley. I have the CSAV. I have the Evergreen. And I have one more container maybe okay anyway so i got these guys here all in ho so if you want to get these come to yankee dabbler check these guys out i'll put that the right way you're really gonna like these things here they retail for 56.95 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 39.99 and of course you go throw on that engineer hall discount to get a little uh extra off of there but these are well worth it especially if you have some well cars or refrigerator cars or whatever that you want to add these containers to them Please get these on your layout. I know you're really going to like them. And for our end scalers, I do have them in end scale as well. And once again, this the detail is incredible. Take a look at all the stuff we have happening there. I have the 40-foot ones as well as I have some 53-foot containers as well. So these are really neat too. So, I mean, if you're interested, I guess I should put this one the right way. There you go. So if you need some containers, Yankee Dabbler is your number one source of getting containers on your railroad. So come into Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, check it out. So I know you're going to like them, just like I do, because these are mine. Hey, can I ask something? What? Hey, you know if you, uh, that Swift container you have on your layout, it uh -huh. doesn't have accidents everywhere, every turn it goes. Oh, Engineer Hall, you know that these things are... See, that, see they... I told you. Come to Yankee Dabble and see for yourself. All right, so once again, my wife for Valentine's Day said, DJ, I really want some, uh, like, Jersey Transit uh, multi-level trailer cars. Wait, is that what, DJ, why the heck did you buy another train? I don't know. It was something like that. Anyway, so we had these brand new from Atlas, the HO versions of the multi-level trailer cars. And check these guys out because I know you're really going to like these things. These are really cool. Now, we've seen the N-Scale versions, but here are the HO versions for my HO fans out there. As you can see, I just had the regular ones here. I have some that have a toilet inside of it. So if your little people need to go, this is going to be a very popular one in this area. This is the Pennsylvania Reading and Seashore Lines Heritage car there. 
Here's another really nice one. This is the Jersey Central Lines car. I really like that one. Here's another one. This is a cool one. Conrail. Everyone loves Conrail Blue. I think that is a great looking car. And then I have here the Pennsylvania Railroad. And this is actually a cab car. So if you go to the back there, you can see the cab car design here with the horns here and the various different lighting effects. I mean, these are just really co cool looking cars. So if we come over here in the middle of these cars, you're going to see that they have cushion couplers here. So they have a little bit of a slack with the draw bar there. That is really cool. So if these things go around your layout. Um, they they kind of simulate like the real thing. These are really neat. The lights in these cars look fantastic. I'm going to turn these on in a minute. And I think you're really going to like these cars. Now, the retail price for these uh, items that we have here, they range anywhere from $59 to $69. Okay, some are a little bit more because of the various things that they add into it, like the toilet or the cab car design. But I think you're really going to like these cars. Now, let's see what they look lit up because, well, it doesn't do it justice unless all those lights are on. So let's go. Here they are all lit up, and I just think these look so cool. If anyone's ever actually been on these cars before, these are really accurate to what the real things look like. I think you're really going to enjoy these things. I love that Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Line car. If you are a fan of that railroad, I think you're really going to want that one there. I have the Jersey Central one here, and this one is one of the cars that does have a toilet in there. It would be in this area right here. Of course, you don't want a, bath, a window in there because, well, I don't think I have to fill in the finish that sentence. I have the Conrail one there. I really like that one. And then the really neat thing about this Pennsylvania one that I have right here, as I said, it is the cab car here. It's not the only cab car I have, but if you take a look at the back here, while we move the camera a little bit, we're using some manual power to get these things going. As you can see, I have the lights lit up there. And that is a, such a great look for those cars. And if anyone's ever seen these things, you know exactly what I'm talking about there. That looks pretty accurate to what the real thing looks like. So I think you need these cars on your railroad. So come in the Yankee Dabbler and check these out. You might out. be thinking, wow, those cars look really nice, but we really like an engine to pull them. Well, once again, we got you covered here because we have these engines from Atlas. And check out these guys. These are called the ALP45DP engines and i love the way that these things look i have a heritage unit there for the erie lackawanna now this is such a great look i've seen that engine a couple of times on the rails that is a fantastic look and I, of course i have the traditional jersey transit locomotive here now obviously you know, people that live in the tri-state area around here is really gonna go for these engines but even if you're not from Jersey or you have been and visit this area or you like the Northeast Corridor area, I think these engines just look fantastic. And especially if we add these cars on here, like I'm going to do right now, you put these on your railroad. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Look at that cool commuter looking train there. That is fantastic. You can pretend that you're going to New York City or you're going down to the shore. Get these engines running on the rails. I think you're really going to like them. But... I don't want to see a static display. I want to see what they sound like. So let's turn them on and let's get going here, shall we? All right, let's see what the horn sounds like. Bell? All right, and let's get her started, shall we?
Now arriving at Yankee Dabbler on track number one. Train number $11,652. That's what I lost on the Super Bowl. Oh well. So that is a great looking diesel electric locomotive. So if you want to get one of these on your layout, I highly suggest that you do so. Now this one, as well as the heritage unit are available. We're retailing them for, well they retail rather, for $279.95, but we're gonna retail these engines are at our store for $195.99. That is a great deal to get on a very unique looking locomotive. I guarantee you probably don't have anything on your rails that look like this. So I think these are just fantastic looking engines, very modern, very sleek, very elegant for this commuter train. So I think if you wanna get one of these on your rails, Make sure you check us out at yankeedabbler.com because these things are not going to be here for long. So come get them on your railroad today before someone else sells them. So those are the new things that we have here at Yankee Dabbler. But I want to talk about some of the things that we always have here all the time here at Yankee Dabbler. Of course, if our shipments keep up with our demand here. Because one of the most popular items that we have here at our store is the Pico switches. And a lot of people love these things. Of course, I have... Some Electro Frog, I have some Insel Frog, but Unifrog is mostly what we have here now because a lot of, uh, they're either or. So I have them here in N scale. I have them here in HO. I have a whole bunch of different ones that you can have for your consideration here. Maybe you want a really, uh, maybe you want a Y. This is a very short Y here. So I have the number four Y turnout here. So I got one of these guys here. Or maybe I'm looking for something that's a little bit longer, like the number eight left-handed turnouts. I have one of these. Or maybe I'm looking for something that's a little bit shorter, or rather, oh, check out this guy here. This is the Diamond Crossing. Ooh, that's a really cool looking one. A little old stock there, but I got those in here. I mean, maybe I want something that's a little bit long. Here's another Y, uh, X rather. There you go, here's the number six left-handed turnouts. I have a whole bunch of these different things here, and they're all available on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Check these out. I know a lot of people really like these. These are one of the best switches that are on the market. So if you want to get these going on your railroad today, I highly recommend them to, uh, coming in Yankee Dabbler and check these things out. I think you're really going to like them. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for watching our latest episode of What's New Here at yankeedabbler.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest things that are happening on Engineer Hall's channel. For example, I heard he's actually taken out his bathroom Bathroom and it's gonna install a helix layout of a train going up and down. So I think you're really, really gonna like that. So stay tuned wait, for that. What? Wait, hold on now. Uh, it, my wife ain't supposed to find out. We're not supposed to know about this. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Watch Engineer F Falls channel and you'll see that double helix of that thing. Yeah. 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 That thing. Yeah, yeah suckers. Anywho, so make sure you uh, click that subscribe button. And anything that you saw, make sure you click on yankeedabbler.com, where, of course, every day is a train show. And hopefully you saw some new things that are going to be going on your layout. Speaking of layouts, I think it's a wonderful time to start out our latest and greatest newest creation. That's right, we did the fall layout extravaganza. Well, this time we're doing the spring layout spectacular. I'm so excited to see everyone's layouts. Maybe we'll see some additions that you made, but maybe we'll see some new layouts. Make sure that you send your videos or your photographs to Engineer Hall Channel at gmail.com, and we're going to see how many we could get in. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about putting my layout in for about an hour and a half, two hours. So, right? Engineer Hall, is that a good idea? No? Okay. No. We'll see. All right, so once again, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We're going to conclude this week's video with a Railfan video. Uh, we're going to go back to Amtrak's, one of their 50th anniversary heritage units. We're going to take a look at the number 100 Midnight Blue going down the Northeast Corridor in Philadelphia. So until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy. And if you excuse me, as I said, some of these things are going to be pulling layouts. Uh, trains on my layout, rather. And I had to remember what my wife said. DJ, if you bring another engine home, the four, the force was that? No, no. I want more engines brought home, and it's got to be the bomb. That's what she said. Great. Oh, yeah. Happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah. We'll see. See ya.